now is stressing you out now my sister is going to finish you in marriage so flee take my advice flee hi guys you're welcome to my channel if this is your first time of seeing my face you are welcome and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much so before i start today's video this is a disclaimer i am not a relationship expert neither have i have i spent 20 years in marriage or just three years next month i'm doing this video because i had a conversation with someone and the things the person was saying i'm like babe this is 2024 and you're still having this kind of thoughts in 2024 like i'm still shocked that people still have this mindset in 2024 so i decided to set up my ring light and do this video so guys that's how this video came about and today's video is titled things i wish i knew before getting married it's going to be an interesting video my own thing I wish I knew before I get married is putting the same energy I used in planning my wedding ceremony into planning my marriage. You know, when when we want to get married, it's really us women, we tend to like start planning. Some people won't start planning like a year before the wedding. So we start planning months before the wedding. And most times we neglect the main purpose of that ceremony, which is the marriage. Go for counseling, read books on marriages, like put that effort you use in planning your wedding. Put it also in planning your marriage. The second thing I wish I knew before getting married is get something doing. No matter how little it is as a lady, especially as a lady, I get something doing before you get married. It's very important because times are hard. That's the truth. And for one person to bear the responsibility, it's like the financial responsibility of the family. It's not easy. I know we grew up in a culture or in, in Africa where men are supposed to provide for us, which is normal as it should be. But then... As a lady, it's not a bad idea for you to have your own money. You know, my money and our money is not the same thing. For someone like me, I got married immediately I graduated from school. And after marriage, it wasn't easy at first. Like, it wasn't easy at all. I'm not even going to lie. But I, thank God I started a small business and my husband kept supporting me. And I can see the difference from when I got married and now. You know, not everybody will be that lucky. And me, I know the feeling I get when I start spending my money. Like when I want to spend my money, I know that feeling of ah, it's my money. I don't have to ask all the time. So ladies, please try to get something doing before you get married. The third thing I wish I knew before I got married is marriage is hard work. Oh. Marriage is not easy. See, hey, <laughs> marriage is hard. And it needs lots and lots of hard work. When you see people celebrating 25 years, 30 years, you think it's just, it's not beans, it's not moi moi. It's hard work. So, if you know you cannot be patient, you cannot be tolerant, you cannot forgive, please don't bother getting married because it will not even last. It will not last. So, if you want to get married, know that you are going to put in the work. I heard somebody say, marriage is not for the weak it's actually not for the weak so know that marriage is hard work that was one thing i didn't know i thought you just love 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 until i entered and i knew guy this isn't easy <laughs> it's not easy at all never ignore red flags i hear people saying Oh, my boyfriend cheats a lot. He's going to change after marriage. Oh, my girlfriend cheats on me. She's going to stay faithful and get married. Oh, my husband has... Uh, my guy, boyfriend has anger issues. Oh, get my guy, babe. It's not going to change you. Whatever you are seeing in your relationship now, is you will see times five of it when you get married. So, that thought of saying, Oh, my partner is going to change after marriage. <laughs> My sister, if you know that thing that you guys have been battling with is so hard and it's not changing now, don't think it's going to change after marriage. Don't think she's going to change after marriage. Flee. Flee. 
don't ignore red flags no matter how little it is never ever ignore red flags i'm not saying anybody's perfect if for me i'm not perfect neither is my husband perfect and there are some things that i saw and i knew oh i can cope with this one and if i had seen like bigger red flags i would have flee for my life but at least the ones that we have now are things i can cope with so if you know they are like minor minor small small things that you guys can talk at it's okay but if you know they are major and you know you're already crying and shedding tears now in relationship a marriage will give you pot so you cry inside because it's not going to change okay so never ignore red flags that's bad attitude that character that your partner is already displaying they are not going to change that's the truth so if you know you cannot cope with it now, it's stressing you out now, my sister is going to finish you in marriage. So flee. Take my advice. Flee. Guys, I've heard stories of people like women that went to deliver in their husbands when they to be found. Or a man that needs to do an important surgery and a wife has run away. Like a whole lot of story, guys. Marrying a kind partner, marrying someone that, despite being mad at you, you still go to the end of the earth to make you happy, is a big deal. This is a life partner for yourself. You're also choosing a great co-parent for your kids. So while you're doing your love, love, and love is taking you to where you don't know, make sure that your kids are going to have a great mom and a great dad. Make sure that you're, you're making the right choice. So tomorrow your kids will look at you in the face and say, Mom, thank you for giving us a great dad. And dad, thank you for giving us a great dad. I didn't know that marriage is going to make you more prayerful. Before marriage, you're praying for yourself. You're praying for your family. Now you have to pray for your husband. Pray for his family, pray for your child, pray for everything. Like, marriage is a whole lot. It's a nice experience if you are doing marriage with the right person. And so, we have come to the end of today's video. Hope you enjoyed yourself. And if you watched this essence, thank you so much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get notified when I video. And please watch my previously posted videos. Thank you guys. See ya in our next video.